Hey guys, what is happening? Just got off work. Just got off work. It is Friday, February 21st in the year of our Lord, 2020. It is 5.05 p.m. I am digging what's going on because there's this weird transition going on at work and... We're working in a part of the facility that is normally only worked in by the crew that comes in at 5 a.m. and leaves at 5 p.m. However, I'm still only required to be here at 6.30 so I can leave after 10 hours because there's no supervision. I have to leave unless I want to come in early. Coming in early is optional. I opt out and... Um, yeah, so I get two 12-hour days on my long weeks and two friggin' 10-hour days. Uh, so I clock a cool four hours of overtime in four days. But, um, I only have to work 10-hour days, which I've been working 12-hour days since July of... 2019, so, um, yeah, 10 hour days don't feel that long. The problem is I don't plan ahead, and then I get off work after 10 hours. 10 hours is still, you know, I'm still tired-ish at the end of a 10 hour day. So I don't know what to do with my extra two hours. And I tried, I thought to myself, I thought, well, what do you want out of life and what can you do in two hours that's gonna help you get there? And I came up with, well, I'll just tell you. I don't know if I should keep my cards close to my vest, but the only thing that I came up with was to go to a bookstore and uh, try to buy some sheet music, some, like, maybe a first and second year piano book. They usually come in, like, year one, year two. So that I can go, go, which I have both of those books, but they're back in Florida and I didn't bring them with me. Because for some reason, I didn't think that I was going to buy a piano when I was out here, but I did. Um, so I've got this piano and I don't have music to play on it. But that just sounds like, I don't know why, it just feels so odious to go do that. Which, now that I'm saying it out loud, that's ridiculous. Like, that's not an odious task. There's some weird thing in me that just doesn't want, like, to eat my vegetables, so to speak. It's like, I know this is good for me, therefore I don't want to do it. I have this really, I have this real self-destructive streak, man. I, I don't get it. I don't. I don't get it. I don't like it. Um, and it's, it's certainly not the only, like, part of me. But it, it's definitely, like, an ingredient in the stew that is me, is this, like... Of all the voices in my head, there's one voice in my head that says, Hey man, that sounds like it would blow. Like, let's not do that. Let's not organize your space. Let's not call the tax collector and make sure everything is okay. Let's, oh, good news, by the way, turns out they're not going to auction off my property. So, I was, <laughs> I was worried about that because I, found, I got like a... I didn't even get the notification. Check this shit out. My neighbor shoots me a text message and is like, Hey man, you know they're auctioning off your property? They sent out a notice to everybody in the neighborhood that they're going to auction your property off because of unpaid back taxes. And I was like, what are you talking about? Turns out I'm an idiot. Uh, and property taxes in the state of Florida happen every year. I don't know. I got one the first year. I got a bill the first year and I paid it. Didn't get one since then. And then like four years, I was starting to get kind of suspicious, but like I've had other shit to deal with. 
and I figured I will get to it, you know, which is dumb. It's dumb. Every I, every time I have that, uh, I don't want to do this. I'll I'll deal with it later. Always comes back to bite me. Anyways, uh, so I end up calling. Long story short, as if there was a chance of that at this point, I end up calling the tax collector, and he's like. I told him what was going on. I was like, hey, are they going to auction my property off? And he's like, yeah. Uh, you know, and I'm like, I haven't been getting a bill. I didn't know this happens every year. And he's like, well, we've been sending it to such and such address. And I was like, that's the trailer that I lived in before I bought my property. And he's like, that's the only address that we've got on file for you. The people that want me to pay taxes on my property that I was living at don't have another address on file for me except for the one that I lived at before I moved onto the property that they're taxing. They don't have the address of the property that they're taxing on file as a way to contact me, apparently. This is the efficiency and the genius of the government of the state of Florida. Or maybe it's just Columbia County. I don't know. I don't know exactly how that how that all works out. But <sighs> So, you know, fortunately, I found out about this shit before they fucking just sold my shit off. And I paid the taxes, and it's all good now. I, I finally called the tax collector today. I sent the money, like, a while, a couple weeks ago, and... Or a week and a half ago now, I don't remember exactly, but I was like, I was like, I should call the tax collector for the last three days. I've been, I should call the tax collector and you know, make sure he got the payment. And there's this stupid voice in my head that's like, oh, don't do that, you don't want to deal with that. And I called him today and he's like, yes, sir, you're all good, we're not gonna auction your property off. You know how much better I feel. <laughs> I could have felt this way three days ago. Why? But, you know, that's why I need to stop procrastinating. Like, Jesus Christ. Anyway, so I'm probably going to get off here now that I think about it. Thanks for listening, because now that I think about it, I'm going to get off here. I'm going to go grab something to eat because I'm starving. And I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go to the bookstore and try to find me some something to play on the piano. Maybe I get get a couple of like music books that are you know to do the boring stuff, run over the scales, and fucking increase my technical proficiency, and pick up like maybe some uh, who was that dude that fucking played Great Balls of Fire? God, he's like my favorite. He's one of my favorite piano players of all time. I'm, 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 it's killing me. You know. Goodness gracious, great balls of fire. Uh, J J Lewis. Jerry Lee Lewis? I don't know. I'm uh, Now that feels wrong. Anyways, I'm going to pick up some fucking boogie woogie. Pick up some fun music. Um, and then I'm also going to pick up, like, I'd like to get another chord encyclopedia and a, like, beginner piano and an intermediate piano book so that I can have all the scales and, and shit like that. So that's what I'm going to do now. Bye.